I'm going to show you how to change the favicon, is what it's called, F-A-V-I-C-O-N, on your tab for your capture pages in Power Lead System. The favicon is the little icon here on the tabs. See how um, Facebook has their little Facebook F and things like that. Okay, the first thing you want to do is go to Websites, Web Pages, and then Copy Web Pages. Then you'll go down to the capture page that you want to copy. Now this might be a shared page, it might be one that you made, and you want to change that little icon on there. Now I've already done that, so I am just going to go in and edit this one. But when you when you uh, copy, it will bring you to this page. And here on your own page, you can change the title. On some shared funnels, you're not going to be allowed to change this. This one I can, so I'm going to change that. I am going to go ahead and put in... I don't know if I have made subdomain for this yet, so I'm not going to do that. I am going to put in the sales page that I want to go to first, right after the capture page, because that should have already been there, but for, when I do the default one, it hasn't been working, and I guess that's sometimes what happens. I'm going to put in the email campaign, so I don't have to do that later. You don't have to do any of this, uh, possibly. But to change the favicon, you get to this page, and then you'll go to Edit Text. Now you'll need a picture. This little photo icon is where you're going to have your picture uploaded. Now I've already found one on Google and uploaded it, but you can just uh, Google. This happens to be like a monster truck. So I searched for a monster truck PGN and I picked this one. Then you want to go over here on these because you get a better image. And then you'll go right click and save image as. Name it what you want and then save it in your folder on your computer. Okay, we are going to now put that in this page. So you go to this little image icon thing, click on that, browse server, and if it's not in your library yet, mine is right here. I think it's going to work. But if you've just searched it on Google and you don't have it uh, here yet, you've got it on your computer, you'll go to Upload New File. Then you'll go to Choose File. And then you'll find where it is on your computer and put that in there. And then you're not done yet. You've just selected it. You have to upload. And it will say Uploading right here until it shows up. And these are all in alphabetical order. Okay, I have my Bigfoot image here that I hope is going to show up okay. I've got it about the size. I'm going to maybe cut that down just a little bit. I don't want it too big. But what you'll do is this is your URL. This is now saved in your folder in PowerLead System. So that's where uh, it will go to find that right in Power Lead System. Do not click OK because that will put that image here in your capture page. And that's not where you want it. You want it up on the tab. We'll close. OK. Now, we're going to click right here on Source. That gives us the code, the rich text. Now we need to find where the image is that was already on that tab and replace it with this one. 
So the first thing you have to do is on your keyboard, push Control and F. F as in Frank. And that will bring up a little search bar. It might be down here. Mine is up here. And then you're going to want to put in F as in Frank, A as in Alphabet, and B as in Victor. Then Enter. And right there is Fab. Now your picture is right here between these quotes. It starts there with that forward slash and ends with PNG. So we're going to highlight that exactly. Don't miss anything and don't get the quotes. Now we will right click and paste the URL that we got at the Bigfoot. Then we're going to go down and click Save Changes. Move to the next step. Now we'll take a look at it and see if it worked. Well, we changed the title, but we didn't change the picture. Oh, this hasn't been working lately, and I don't know why. Okay, let's try it again. Edit text. Control F. Com. Oops, we aren't in the source code. Okay, Fav. There's our Bigfoot picture. All right, well. Let's try a new picture. Monster truck. Let's find a cool looking one. Batman one's kind of cool. I want some colorful. Let's see what we can find. I'd like something that's kind of going up too. I, I tried this one earlier. But it has so much this background stuff. But you can always use Jing here and just do it this way. You will name this red truck. Save. Let's see where it's going to go. Yep, that's where we want it. Okay, let's go back and let's upload that. See if it'll work. Browse server. Now you'll get to see the whole process. You're in your library. There's other libraries that have been put in PLS, but this is my library. These are the pictures I've uploaded. Okay, upload. Choose file. Find the red truck. There he is. Now you're not done. You've just chose the file. Upload selected files. And there it is. We'll double click on that. And we'll get this code. And it's a PNG again, so let's see what happens. I've had a problem with, okay, don't click OK. Just close this. Had a problem with JPEG, Peglin's not working, but that PNG one didn't work for some reason either. Okay, source. Now we'll search again. Control F as in Frank. There's our FAV. Enter. And let's replace it now with the red truck. Let's see if that works. Save changes and move to next step. Let's take a look at it this time. There we go. There's our truck right there. Can't really tell what it is because it's small, but the other one might have been too big or too small. And it just didn't show up, I don't know.
But we've got our title up here to the top. We've got a truck. This is a truck. And we're all set with that. Now we've just got to get a subdomain assigned to it. And we'll be good to go. Go out, try this. Sometimes it's a little bit of uh, trial and error. But I've changed a lot of mine here. I've got a baseball and a bike and a horse and an eye <laughs> on those. And it's kind of fun to have your own custom little, little picture up there. So go out, make it a protective day, and we'll see you next time.